Hi everyone, welcome back to Cape's Corner Creations. I'm here um, to show you this journal that we built and decorated. Uh, it's finished, so we're going to do a walkthrough on it. And then when I'm done, it will also be on my Etsy shop. So let's get started. Um, those who followed the process of building know some of this journal already. We have a beautiful plaid material on, on, on the cover with some black ribbon and some black bling on the spine. This has some jewelry um, on the spine threads on the inside, on the signature threads, and it is tied with a black shoelace. This is a masculine journal and um, good for, you know, a new dad or, you know, a newly uh, married man or it doesn't have to be for men. It's just a little bit on the masculine side. So whoever would like that. So let's have a look. I just untie like a shoelace on the uh, front and it comes right off. So we're going to start here on the front inside cover. I'm just going to get my little um, bean bag here to hold this up. So on the inside cover we have this really pretty picture. Uh, music paper and a stopwatch, you know, pocket watch, and it says begin an adventure. Inside we have uh, master your craft and in this front pocket, there, this is an envelope, and there is a letter from me about how to use your journal. And I name all my journals. Uh, if you're familiar with my channel, then you have probably heard me say that before. And this one's name is Authentic, meaning genuine. And so that is right here and I tuck that right inside there and then you have writing space so you have writing space on here and on inside there's a note card which is glued down and so there's three pages of writing space and behind it, it there's a journal card um, with more writing space so it's actually quite a bit of space there for writing there we go and then this page is just some old very old dictionary paper with uh, a map and some brown ribbon. On the other side, this um, is a little tuck from the, from the uh, paper on this side, it folds over, and there's a full sheet of um, avocado dyed paper with some coffee splatters on there, it's really pretty. This light is really bright, so I don't know that you can see the stain just a bit there. And that tucks right in there with more um, old dictionary uh, paper that um, is on the backing there. And then just a sheet. There's a lot of writing space in this journal. It doesn't have a lot of, you know, bling and pizzazz because... You know, it's not uh, it's not all frilly and lacy, masculine, but really a lot of journal space. And there are several, you know, there's a lot of pockets and tucks along the way. Here we have a little cluster of, you know, um, ribbon and paper, and it says keep going. Another map edge on this paper. It makes it a little sturdier. This is really cute woodpecker there on the edge. Here we have a triangle pocket, uh, like a belly band, but it's a pocket. And there's a journaling card here, really pretty, uh, with some lace, a black safety pin, some, you know, paper, and some material down here. This is just some material out of my uh, material bin with some brown ribbon. 
and germ link space on the back. And that just slides right in there. And of course you can use the page itself for writing. Um, more uh, full page of journal space. This picture I just loved and was so appropriate for the journal. I just put it there. Um, it's really attractive and I thought that was a nice addition to the, to the journal. This is the middle of the first uh, signature and there is a key um, charm that dangles from there. And of course I put a key picture up here. It says try new things and some old um, dictionary paper here. And this is some parchment paper that I just um, used some stenciling on the corners. This page, I did a lot of different stencils to make the design, but it's very light, and you can just write over that. And over here on this side here, this page has stenciling right on the old dictionary paper. And more writing space. Here is a small page, and inside there's a journaling card. So you can write on the front of this um, envelope, and of course on the back of the journaling card itself. That just slips right in there. Lots of stenciling on this page and on this page as well, all the way around. But again, you can use the whole paper to write on. And again, on the back side with different stencils. This is a great uh, page. It has three pockets here with little journaling cards in each one with writing space on the back. And then in the front, it also has a little tuck with another small journaling card on them. So all together you have six journaling cards here for little keepsakes, memories or something you need to jot down. And it tucks right in there. And more um, stenciling with journaling space here. Over here we have some more stenciling, lots of stenciling in this journal. And this is a, um, just a picture of some fall leaves and a button, some lace, a piece of paper, and some scrapbook paper. And on the back, explore, it says, for more journaling space. And of course, on your paper here, all this writing space. More and more writing space. So over this side is a, like a half paper, folded over again with a pocket. And this is a full sheet of paper that's tucked in there of avocado dyed paper. So plenty of um, writing space there. And of course, all journals are made so that you can tuck your own uh, important papers or your, you know, sacred papers, things you want to keep safe in these little tucks. Then we have over here this piece of paper that is held on the back of it. The back side is held just inside this belly band, but it pulls right out. And you have this full sheet. Here it says, cherish every moment. And a full sheet of writing paper. So I just tuck the back part into the, under the ribbon and then just slip that there. And of course we have some pretty scrapbook paper and some ribbon. More stenciling. This is just using a darker color um, of ink and I put a green um, piece of ribbon or cord actually. It's a material but it's uh, like a cord, a round cord. And on this side um, more ribbon with more journaling space. And as well over here, some more stenciling with stenciled lines on the paper so that you could write. And you can see that if I bring it up. There you go. What else we have here? Let's see. Um, oh, this one is nice. There's another um, um, envelope and note card here, a little bit differently set up like the one in the beginning. This one has a tuck in the front and it says don't forget to fly. And it has airplanes on here and a postage like mailing envelope. 
And here it says, 10 things I will never forget. Good place to write down your uh, 10 little adventures there. So that tucks in right here. And of course you can write right on this paper. And then it opens up. And there's an envelope with another piece of um, avocado and coffee stained paper. On both sides you can write. And that just slips in here. Then it has another uh, tuck here. And inside it has a journaling card. This one has got a clock, some music paper, picture of a bird here, a lot of um, scrapbook paper, and some stenciling and on the back side, writing space. And then one more. In the back of this tuck, we have a large journaling card that's stenciled on this side, which is all. Um, old dictionary paper and butterflies and so cute and journaling space on the back. Stick that right back in there. What was that? And then this page again, journaling space and more journaling space. And this side of this paper, really just a little bit of stenciling, which you could glue down a picture or you know, any kind of memory that you might have to put there. Inside the back is a journaling, two journaling cards here. And both of them with writing space on the back. One is lined. Um, with, I put on lines on that paper and the other one is plain. So they tuck right inside here. Whoop really raining out there t tonight. It's uh, in the evening right now and we're having buckets of rain. I don't know if you can hear it. Every now and then it gets pretty loud. On this page we have a triangle tuck with this really gorgeous journaling card. Some butterflies and some map paper and some old dictionary paper and all these different layers of um, paper, some lace, and on the back, journaling space. And that tucks right in here. And then down here we have a cluster with some paper, some old book pages, and a button. And you actually open this, and you have more journaling space right there on your corner triangle tuck. And more writing space here. On this side we have a, a tuck, and a large journaling card here and another one here. All this writing space. So just slide that in there and that one on top. This book was really fun to make. It was um, used as a learning tool on my channel. You can go back and find how we, we built the cover. We, you know, put the material on, we installed the um, signatures, and we did a few pages of decorating, and then we finished it with the shoelace, and it, it was really quite fun. I got some great uh, feedback from some people that I know that watched it, and they really were um, happy to, to learn that process. So you can have a look at those videos. This is the middle of the second uh, signature. There's a little crab here. And there's a side pocket of little insects and bugs. And this journaling card, um, another large space for writing. And then you have this whole paper and this whole side and the back of this one to journal and you know write on. So it's quite a lot of writing space there. And then we move forward with more writing space and all, you know, um, stenciled papers, uh, parchment paper, writing paper. Here we have a little tuck on this page. This comes right out, and there's writing space on the inside. Just like a little card. It says Wild at Heart. Um, with a clock and a butterfly and a little tag. That just slips right in there with room, of course, for, for more things. It's another cluster with, you know, material and 
paper and a button, lots of writing space. And then here, this is an old, um, like, postcard with writing space. And over here, two pockets. This piece is right in the front, a pocket with some a writing space tag and another journaling card here and writing space on both sides. Oh, sorry, I'm getting out of the focus here. Until it's, it's the evening when... <laughs> I forget to watch all my uh, angles here. This page, this, this is so cute here. More stenciling, leaves, and a little mouse on a twig. So cute. More writing space, more writing space. And then here we have another one of those pockets where you can pull out your journaling card and it opens up, and you have another journaling card inside. It says, Take the Risk, with this big sailboat, and more writing space on the back side, on that little triangle tuck. And then on the back of it, there's a piece of paper for more writing space. So quite a bit of room there on that one, and of course on your paper here. And that tucks in there with that paper clip that on the other side holds this little um, paper bag, cluster tag that says just because with a little bit of doily and a butterfly and you can have writing space on the back of that and a piece of coffee dyed paper for writing as well here and this is the whole sheet that's tucked in there both sides I'm going to tuck that right in this is a great book like I say for the one that's not really into, you know, it could be for a man or a woman or, you know, um, it's masculine, but it's not over the top masculine. And it could be used for either or uh, whoever has a flair for maps and journaling. It's a lot of journaling space. Like I said, it could be a new father, a Father's Day gift, a Christmas gift, you know, a wedding gift. Just really quite nice um, for the right person. And this side is just decorative. Uh, nothing on this side, just decorated. We did this page on the um, in the process of making the journal. And then a tuck on this side with a large journaling card that we had made with plenty of writing space on the back. I like this paper because it was just all the different clocks from all over the world. And then I think we take this out now. And then this page is a, a cluster, a collage of paper, different papers. There's, you know, um, dictionary paper. There's uh, um, old book pages. There's uh, these cutouts of birds, butterflies, some mushrooms, some writing paper, some scrapbooking paper, all kinds of paper, all in a, you know, in a collage there, the ribbon. And on the back side, butterflies and dragonflies, um, but you can write right over that for more writing space, and of course the whole page of writing. That just tucks in there. This one is, way, you know, another two pages of writing space with stenciling, and here we have, this is an old picture of some birds that I found in a child's book, a learning book. I think it was in the 1940s, actually. So here's more writing space, more writing space. This page is a short page, and it says com compassion. And in here there's a, a little pocket with a journaling card with more writing space there. That just tucks in. This one has all different kinds of textures. If there's a napkin, there's ribbon, there's scrapbooking paper, there's washi tape, there's a button, there's material, more ribbon, just all kinds of textures on this page. We even have some red plaid, like if you like plaid. <laughs> and more um, parchment paper, 
This is the center of the third uh, signature, and it has a charm of a clock, uh, like a pocket watch here, and we have watches and clocks all throughout, and writing space on both sides. Underneath the uh, journaling card, there's a full sheet of paper there. This one says, I am free. There you go. And then on the next page, we have a, a tuck over here, a side tuck with two journaling cards with writing space and a full sheet of coffee dyed paper. Well, no, it's a small piece. I thought it was a full sheet, but no, it is, it is not. I can get my fingers around it. No, nope, it's just a smaller piece, but there's three uh, places to write, and of course your whole page on that side tuck. Here's a middle uh, pocket with a journaling card with writing space on it. I even This paper was torn, but I just left it, you know, junk journals are out of scraps, and mostly what you have, old things, and rustic looking. So I left that paper like that. Um, this is more stenciling. And this over here is a full page of writing with a torn page for coffee dyed paper with this little plaid tuck right here. And we have more writing space, more writing space. There's a lot of journaling space in here. And this tuck has a bingo card, more of those old pictures of the birds on this tag, and more journaling space. Creativity takes courage. Isn't that true? Everything takes courage these days. We live in a crazy times. More journaling space on this page. And over here, I just thought this looked like a shirt front, you know. Um, there's a piece of paper, torn paper, that is avocado dyed and coffee dyed on that and slips in here. Then this little um, piece flips up here, comes out of there, and there's a piece of paper inside here on the other, you know, on the other side of this paper, and that just slips underneath there. And that folds down and tucks back in there. Something you need to keep private, you can put right in there. And then just these pictures of maps, I just thought they were pretty. And this is the last signature in this journal. And so it has more writing space. And here is some more writing space. This is a, made with a, a napkin that I had and just glued that to the page. Very pretty. More writing space, more writing space, some dragonflies. This is really old dictionary paper. You can actually see the, the cuts from the, uh, this is an original, you know, piece. More stenciling and writing space. On this page we have a tag up here. This was also made from um, old dictionary paper and a napkin and some washi tape and some sari silk, all the different textures. And on the back, writing space, and that just slips right in the top. Oh, let me get that right in the right place here. And that slips right in the front of this um, tuck. And on the bottom, another journaling card. This is some really nice uh, music paper with this tuck with um, some leaf ribbon and some scrapbooking paper. And on the back of this card, more uh, writing space with some sari silk there on the top and that slides right in and then this opens up to yet another um, uh, tag this is old table of airline um, information uh, with a journaling tag there and then on the back you have the more writing space and another pocket here with more uh, writing space on this journaling um, card. So there's 
one, two, three, four, five spots in this in this little uh, page for writing. And then the back here we have more a full page of writing space. And then here it says, "You are stronger than you think." It says, "Go for it." And this is a really big journaling card here with this again this napkin and some stenciling and on the back stenciling uh, with that um, ink stained edges there most of them are more journaling space and then we have this page that is really fun this is a paper bag and on the bottom here there's a little uh, tuck a side tuck and this little journaling card, it says, Note to Self. You can write on the front of it and to the back of it. And that slides right in there. It's a picture of a bird here. It says, Push Your Boundaries. And then this is the bottom of the bag that's glued on either side that holds this little journaling card here. It says, You are more capable than you know. And then we just tuck that in there. And this little uh, tuck spot has a journaling card. It says, Make Yourself Proud. And it, they're really pretty with their uh, little um, clocks and script and writing. And then the top of it has a large journaling card that goes all the way through the bag. And an airplane here. And lots of journaling room. But also, this goes into like the front of the bag. I'm going to show you how much more room there is here. I think if I can get it in the camera. But this bag will actually open up. And you'll have all this room to store many other important papers or things you want to keep private. Or, you know, if this is a gift for someone, you could put a little surprise in there. And How fun is that? And then we go to the next page. And this is the middle of the last signature. Here, there's an airplane charm. And airplanes on the top of this page with some stenciling on the side of this parchment paper. It's beautiful paper. And some green leaf ribbon. More airplane, more writing space, more writing space. This says, find your fire and believe. And you turn this back and it has two little pieces of black ribbon that hold this journaling card front and back. That slips right in there. Just a bird here and some green, uh, some stenciled leaves here. And this side is a, another, uh, this is a little side tuck again. Um, be the exception, it says, with a journaling card that has writing space on the back. And these are plain, you could glue things right on them. Um, but that's really pretty. And then two journaling cards up above here with a writing space, and this one on both sides, and some stenciling, and this the pocket is quite large, so you could actually put other things in there. And then on this page, there's a side tuck over here, with some music paper and some black ribbon, with a big piece of paper for writing, and, and of course your page, and it has a little cluster at the top of different um, papers, and then this page is just just fish, <laughs> all going that way, all swimming away. More writing space, a little camo ribbon on this one. Some writing space with more stenciling. And this page has um, a piece of paper for journaling. It's all stenciled. And if you grab hold of this piece here, it pulls out to a full sheet, and of course, and if you turn it this way, it has more writing space on the back. This is quite large. And then our last page has this um, crisscross uh, corner tuck, which pulls out a piece of paper for writing. And that just tucks right into the both of those ribbons there, like so. Get my fingers to work there. There we go. And the back cover we did actually on camera. There's a video how we put this back one together. And there's two journaling cards with writing space on the back. Also here on the tuck is writing space. And the back of this journaling card. And again down here they all matched up. And how cute is that? 
And then we have our journal. And so, this is a great journal, a lot of writing space. It's a great um, size book. Let me just get my um, ruler here. So this journal is, let's see, this journal is about five and a half by eight and a half inches. It has a Um, it's about one and a quarter inch spine. It has four signatures. So we went through one, two, three, four. I don't, right off the top of my head, don't know the amount of papers. It's quite large. But you can get all that information on my Etsy shop. Um, it will be out probably... It's probably there now, um, so you can check that out over there. The um, and the and the journal ties right back up with that shoelace that uh, you can either tie it from the bottom or the top, depending on which way that you, you like that. <laughs> I couldn't decide when I was first doing it. Well, you know. Your shoes tie at the top, but that's towards you. And so if you tie it the other way, it's, it really doesn't matter. Either way, it works out. Um, and, you know, or you can just, you know, tie it back and forth or use another shoelace and tie it twice. Uh, you can use a piece of ribbon, a piece of string, whatever works for you if you're not into the shoelace. But anyway, I thought it looked pretty handsome, and there we have it. So this is our masculine journal on sale on the Etsy shop. If you like this video and you like this journal, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I really get encouraged by your thumbs up and any comments that you enjoyed the video or the item that I present to you. I like being here with you and sharing all my ideas and accomplishments here. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And ring that bell so that you'll get all the videos that are coming forth. And um, like and share and subscribe and have fun with it. I'm happy that you're here and I'm happy to be here. But I'm off now, so see you next time. Bye-bye.